Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going full Thomas Halbert today with the sweatshirt. Actually not full Thomas Halbert because I don't have a hat on. I actually was going to put a hat on. I actually was going to wear my Monsters Inc. Monsters University hat. But uh, the only lights I have are my vanity lights and they come up from the front, uh, not, well the front and the top so it just creates like a shadow on my face and I don't want that in today's video so. So for today's video I wanted to show you guys my glowy, almost natural kind of makeup look. Uh, the makeup look that um, I wear when I want just sheer coverage and not full matte coverage. I don't even use a mattifying primer in this. And I'm also going to be testing out the Mario Badescu, Mario? <laughs> the Mario Badescu um, Lavender and Chamomile Spray, the facial spray. I don't know what else is in it, but you know, you know the one, the purple one. These sprays that, you know, every Twitter and Instagram skincare person has. I wanted to try this spray. I've always wanted to try the Mario Badescu sprays because I feel like... I want it to replace the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. Except for this one, I thought that it would just be a good spray to have. Um, actually, the initial idea was to replace it with, um, replace the MAC Fix Plus spray with it, and then I read that you use it if you want a dewy finish, and I don't really, like, want that in my looks. Except the MAC Fix Plus is for hydrating, and it's for dry skin, I have heard, and I've been using it for like my sheer medium coverage days um, when I don't want a matte face. So it should go hand in hand whenever I use it. I have been using it, but I haven't been using it under makeup. That's a lie, I have been using it under makeup, and I've only used it twice. The real test is if I go in with a full face. Um, foundation, cream contour, concealer, powder, all that jazz. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to see if it could fully replace the MAC Fix Plus. So far, it's just a good spray to have because it's a lavender and chamomile spray and I need all of the relaxation and, you know, the good things that I can get for myself. This video shouldn't be too long. I feel like I'm in a hurry, but I'm not in a hurry. It's only 9.49. I have to get out of here at, like, 10.30. First of all, it's in an Urban Decay oil control setting spray bottle because the bottle of the Mario Badescu spray, it sucks. <laughs> That's probably a lot and I have to wait for it to dry down. The setting spray, the spray of the Mario Badescu sprays, I don't know if it's all of them or if it's just the one that I have. It's probably just the one that I have. Um, the spray is so aggressive, like I've... It's not a fine mist like I would want it. It's a really strong, aggressive spray. I like the size though. I got the biggest size. I got the $12 plus tax. It's like 14 bucks. Um, got that. Like the size. Like the uh, way that it feels in my hand. But the spray um, goes super wide. Like it hits your face and then out here. And also here. <laughs> my chest is a little wet. A little bit. But the Amari Badescu spray, um, it feels like I'm drowning in lavender and chamomile, which is not what I want. Though I said earlier that I'll take all of the lavender and chamomile I could get, but I don't want that much to wear. It ruins my clothes. By the way, this is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And I'm going to go in with my Benefit Bravo Conditioning Primer. So I think in my last video, my last makeup video, I did mention that I like to use the L'Oreal True Match foundation when I want like a medium, a sheer medium coverage. That's what I use and this is in the, this is in the shade. Oh, my bad, excuse me. And I'm also going to spray my sponge with this. This is the Eagle Tools. I keep dropping shit, my god. This is the Eagle Tools. Um, Beauty sponge? I don't remember the name. For concealer, I'm going to use a brand new one. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour, the new one. This is supposed to be a dupe for the... Let me get another mirror. This is supposed to be a dupe for the 
Tarte Shape Tape, which is kind of low-key canceled. I mean, I'm still going to use my shape tapes because I bought it and, you know, I don't want to, like, waste my money. You know what I'm saying? Oh, also, this was in the shade C13. And now this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. I did have the Makeup Revolution Concealer in a um, highlighting shade, but uh, I had it in the shade C11. And it seemed like a good match for Tan Sand in the Tarte Shape Tape, but I kind of wanted to go a little bit lighter. I feel like the Makeup Revolution is a little bit more sheer than the Tarte Shape Tape, obviously, because that's really, really full coverage. What was I saying earlier? I did reorder the concealer in the shade C10 because none of the Ulta's near me have it in store. So that is coming, but not for a while, so I have to settle with this. More dropping stuff, excuse me. I am going to cream ton, cream ton, cream contour, cream contour really quick. This is the Clean Color Skin Deep Foundation Stick in the shade Rich Cocoa. This step is completely unnecessary. <laughs> and to blend that out, I'm gonna use a new brush that I have. If I can find it. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here in my face. This is the contour brush, the paddle brush by Real Techniques. I forgot to um, spot conceal. Let's just do that real quick. I am going to see uh, Black Panther with my dad. I'm so excited. I haven't been to the movies in so long, and I just I gotta I gotta get into the hype, dude. I gotta get into it. I can't. I don't want to feel left out. I'm not into superheroes like that. I think the last movie, like superhero movie, was the. Uh, Avengers Age of Ultron movie, which was good, but it was the last one that I saw and I didn't even see it in theaters I saw it at my cousin's house. I am going to now Take my banana powder and go ahead and bake really quick. Sorry. Do you see that dust that's flying in the air? I like this powder. I just wish it wasn't so small. I wish that like how do you pick up the product from this cap? I don't understand. So I'm actually not going to leave this on for that long. I'm just going to put it on and then just wipe it off. That's literally all that I do. And since we concealed our eyes, we might as well just do that. I'm going to take my airspun powder, just kill two birds with one stone. That's not correct, but you know. We're going to take my airspun powder, and this is the e.l.f. I think it's called the Beautifully Bare uh, collection. And this is their like large powder brush. And we're just going to set the rest of our face, and at the same time, take off the bake. So, on my sheer medium coverage days, I like to use a brush instead of the sponge. I'll show you really quick. A brush instead of this because this packs on more product whereas the brush picks up. It picks up product but um not as much as the sponge. Now I'm all dirty. <laughs> NYX matte bronzer and I like to pick up a lot of bronzer when I um wear this face out just because I don't do heavy contouring when I wear this type of face. Going in with my, this is upside down, going in with my Studio Contour Palette by um, Profusion. And I am going to take, what's the brush I normally take? I normally take the fan brush, but I'm going to take something else. The Define Brush by Equal Tools, and I'm going to take the lightest shade and lightly contour my face. Don't know if you can see that on camera. The cream contour should be enough, but um, this just gives it that extra oomph. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep this because we're going to use this on our eyes later. But I'm going to do my eyebrows really quick. Off camera, I will be right back. So I already have my brows and I already did my lashes and my mascara off camera. For brows, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in my last makeup video. I use the NYX Professional... <laughs> don't have to say the whole name. Uh, Precision, Precision Brow Pencil. For mascara, I use the Colossal Big Shot by Maybelline. Totally didn't need to do the lashes. I totally, 
totally. I totally could have just done mascara and then that's it. But I just felt like doing lashes, especially for this video. Normally when I do this look, I either use the Ardell Wispies, the Salon Perfect 614s, or the Kiss number 11s, and these are the Kiss number 11s. They're like a much better version of my lashes. They're not too long, they're pretty much the exact same length, but they're a lot more uh, fuller and wispier. So, like I said before, we're gonna take the contour palette again. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. And we're gonna use very dry throat, okay. We're gonna use these two shades to contour our crease. And this is an E40 tapered blending brush by Sigma. And for the darkest shade, I'm gonna use a Morphe M441. I'm actually gonna take this matte eyeshadow by NYX in the shade Lap Dance. And we're gonna use that to matte highlight my brow bone. Probably unnecessary, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do it anyway to learn how to talk slowly. I'm gonna take a pink blush and think we're gonna mix this one and then also this one. So this one and this one together. And this is a real and this is just the real techniques blush brush. I actually don't know how to hold this brush. I don't know why. I bought this brush because someone said that it's a dupe for the Hula, Hula, <laughs> the uh, Benefit Hula bronzing brush. I don't remember what it's called, but you know, it looks kind of just like this, so that's why I bought it for. But it's also really, really nice to use as blush, I like an actual blush brush. So now it's time for the highlight. I always have trouble with what kind of highlight I'm going to use. You know what? I'm going to mix two highlighters. Why not? I'm going to take both Master Chrome highlighters by Maybelline. This is the shade... It doesn't have a name. Oh, Molten Gold, duh. And Molten Rose Gold. Gonna... These are so hard to open. I don't understand Maybelline. I'm going to take a Morphe 501 and then I'm going to show you. Just There you go. And then there you go. So that's what I'm going to do. I have so many highlighters. Some of them I don't even use. <laughs> and I actually just bought the Wet n Wild highlighters from their new collection. And I have their highlighters from their old spring collection from last year. And I don't use them either. I should... Actually, sometimes I use them. should use them and should not be buying more, but I want the Amrezy highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I want the Bretman Rock um, <coughs> and Morphe, ew, Morphe highlighter palette because the names alone just remind me of my childhood. I used to dance professionally when I was younger. Uh, let me get some water for fuck's sake. I used to dance professionally. To why can't I say it? Hula in Tahitian. And Brett is full Filipino. Also, I'm Filipino too. I'm part Filipino too. So, But he's from Hawaii. I'm pretty sure he's not born there, but I'm pretty sure he was... He's, he's lived there for a long time. So he knows the culture. He's been surrounded by it for a while. And, um... Yeah, he chose specific Hawaiian names and I just it reminds me of my childhood because I also used to be around that culture I danced for six years so I'm just like uh -huh, I cry I love it oh, that's a lot excuse me but yeah I just bought the uh, wet n wild gothic spring collection I don't remember the name um I bought all of the highlighters except for the highlighter stick so I have three Three, three highlighters coming in the mail and um yeah I have way too many I have a highlighter drawer already and some highlighter palettes that are beneath me so this is where the test comes in will this spray affect the wear of my makeup or will it be like the MAC fix plus and just be completely fine will I be able to replace it 
and be done with it. <laughs> I'm nervous. For lips, I did buy these uh, Blossom brand lips, um, lip glosses. I kind of want to try them out. I also did get this one, the Lavender Stardust one. This one is okay. It was hard to get out uh, in the beginning, but it doesn't come out as much as these. Um, I don't know why I'm telling you this. This isn't a review for them. I will be using uh, the Watermelon one. They're definitely not as like wet and thick like the um, Maybelline, the Maybelline Shine Shot ones. Um, but this one has a thinner formula and it's not as goopy and sticky like the Shine Shot. So that is the finished face. So I must leave soon. <laughs> I will probably check in when I get to my dad's house, like one, like probably once I park, I might do a check-in. Or if I don't, I will just come back when I come back home. See you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, this is my last check-in. It is, one second, it is 6.17 at night. So I've had this on for a good seven hours, I think. From far away, it doesn't look bad. I... it actually still looks a lot better than I expected, but up close, it does kind of break up around my nose area. I actually never noticed it before. But like I said, this is not a matte makeup routine. This is not a matte face. This is a dewy, natural, skin-like finish. So um, I did kind of expect it to break up a little in for me to get a lot more oily in that section yeah, there's a lot of the foundation kind of like lifted off but again I am oily this isn't a matte face so it's not too terrible and it's not really noticeable unless you really really look at it you know what I mean the rest of the face looks pretty good not gonna lie it looks pretty good up close I think I actually found a good dupe for the MAC Fix Plus. I do want to say, and I really should be saying this in the beginning of all of my makeup videos, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not an esthetician, so I can't really tell you what to do with your face or your skin. I can only share my opinions and my thoughts and what I like. Take whatever information you want with it, I'm just here to do makeup and art videos. I will say the spray is pretty good just because of the scent, I feel like. It does a decent job. It is good for the scent. I wouldn't say it helps with like my acne issues and stuff like that, but it is good to have on hand, especially because of the scent if you need something to be relaxing and stuff like that. I use it as like a pre-bedtime thing. I use it right before I go to bed. So yeah, I would have to say I really, really like the Mario Badescu Lavender and Chamomile Facial Spray. Um, I just wish that they did something else with the bottle. The bottle is what is... The bottle's not good. <laughs> I might repurchase it. I might go back to MAC Fix Plus. I'm just here to say it's good as a makeup setting spray, to be honest. $26 versus $12. I think it's a really good setting spray or just a good spray to have. I might keep it. I mean, I'm going to finish it. And then I still am going to use my MAC Fix Plus. Maybe I'll go to the MAC Fix Plus Lavender. It'll still work the same way. Um, but yeah, I could do either or. They both work the same for me. So that is it for this video. I am done. I am tired. I've been having like this weird headache all day in like the back of my head. I had like a really bad headache last night. And it's still I can still kind of feel it from last night in the back of my head. I'm gonna take all this makeup off, probably do some masks, uh, clean my brushes. I might watch Elimination Chamber, to be honest, I kinda don't want to. It's actually almost time for me to go to bed. <laughs> I got work tomorrow. Follow me on all of my social media, it is Omega all the way around. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!